Welcome Diablo players. Today we're going to look at the Berserk Barbarian. I've been uh, working on my Holy Grail for the last four months, four or five months, and I'm stuck at 94% uh, completion. No, I'm not really stuck, but it's not going that fast anymore. I'm using this crazy program I've showed in another video already. Um, here you can see that I'm on 94% and I'm only 31 items uh, away from having all the items in the game. But I was playing a lot with my Paladin and it was not going that fast anymore. So I started to search the internet, surf the internet and to see what I could do to increase the speed of finding these crazy items. It includes of course also this uh, thing we're all after, materials might, I still don't have it. Um, as you can see these items I still need on the unique armor. And here you can see the statistics of all my items. So. I wanted to have a really good and fast magic find build, not for runes, let me stay clear, magic find. And then I started to search the internet and the crazy thing is I found a lot of information and all this information was really extended. So there's this really good video and I recommend you all to, to go and watch it on the Maxwell side, I really like the Maxwell side, make a bit of of uh, uh, advertisement for them because I, it's a really good neat site and um, Dark Humility, I hope I pronounced it well, he made a video all the way down here and this video is really informative, really good and you can learn a lot of it about it, uh, about the build. But it's also three hours, almost I think three hours. But what I want to do to you guys, I want to try to keep it short but I recommend you read the guide and uh, watch this video. But I want to make you enthusiastic about this build because I'm really getting the hang of it and it's fun and nice. So what's the build about? First off, let's, let's go and start Diablo. The thing is with this build, I found out because I'm not really that high level, I am 81 and uh, I will go over the skills later but I'm 81 at the moment and the thing I learned from playing this build is it's a min-maxing build all the way out there's a lot of discussion and people telling you all kind of stuff you should do this or you should do that but I think the most important thing I need to learn now first is play with the build because it has a if you say it really easy way of playing but if you're playing it it's not always that easy the whole point about this build is you you're going to hunt elite monsters because the elite monsters have always a uh, fixed amount of items they can drop so the thing is you go teleport 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 you scare away all the mobs you kill the elite you hork the body I'll, I'll explain that later and then after that if you've done that um, you go to the next monster and the whole point about everything is that you are as fast as possible. So you can kill as many elite monsters as possible in the amount of time you have. And then of course we've got the second factor. And that is the magic fight. So that we've got the speed, the kill speed. That's about the same. And then the magic fight. And I think, I think that, that your playstyle times magic find is your success factor i really think so and if you think otherwise please leave it in the comments but dying as we all know in diablo 2 is not good for your magic find because if you die then you have less uh, time to find those crazy uh, items we're looking for so for further ado let's go into the build and let's try to go over all the topics in a relatively short time it's still a long video i can tell you in front so first off the skills well i will start at combat skills because we're using berserk berserk is a really nice spell we have for the barbarian because it does magic damage and as you know maybe from your paladin uh, and your hammerdin a lot of monsters are immune they uh, are not immune for magic damage so we use that and there are two synergies on this one and there's howl owl I, I don't think i will pronounce it right but there's howl and there's battle orders 
But the, the other really cool thing about this build, it's it's not about doing the most damage. It's about the balance, doing enough damage, and be as fast enough, and have enough magic find, and then the playstyle again. Are you the good player? Because if you look at the video on Max Roll, and you see how fast he can play, and how fast he can screen the, the, your, the, the screen and the drops that are on the ground, it's crazy. So what we do is we put all points in here, and we put 20 points in Berserk. Then we will go to the combat. Here are a couple of things you probably always want, like natural resistance, uh, iron skin, otherwise you can't come there, but it's also nice. And then the faster increase walk speed and stamina. These are nice. And then another thing we want to do is we want to do the blade mastery, because I'm using blades at the moment, I will go into that later. There are a couple of other things you can do. But the blade mastery you want to go for, because we need the attack rating, we want the damage and the, the chance on critical strikes is also nice. But if we don't uh, hit the monster, uh, we don't kill the monster. So you have to swing again and it takes time. And all the time you have to swing again, it's also uh, a moment you can be hit. And that's something we don't want because if we use Berserk, then um, that it says, but decrease defense. So your defense is decreased when you're hitting. So the thing you want to do is scare all the monsters away and try to kill the monster in one blow. That's the most uh, best thing you, we can do. So one, uh, all 20 points over there, just one point there. And then to Warcrys, we put 20 points in Hull. And you can say, oh, that's a synergy. And if you, are, uh, if you look correctly, I have also battle orders as a synergy. And I only put 10 in there. The reason I put 10 in there, it's again, it's a mix maxing thing of um, you don't have to do that much of damage and you don't need to have that much of life. So we put only 10 points in here. Uh, we put one point in here, but going back to the how, why not put all the points in there and put only 10 points in how? Because how is a very important uh, skill for us, one of the most important skills besides teleporting. We scare away all the monsters and we really want to have this big radius and most of the times because of the uh, the archers for example that are standing on the edges. They will still uh, shoot you. So we want this to be 20 uh, points in there. And then the whole point we're playing Barbarian besides it's really cool is because we have the skill find item. So with the find item skill there's something nice, uh, something interesting I mean. Because uh, with a couple of patches, uh, uh, I thought 2.4, if I remember correctly, um, there was a synergy with find item and find potion. So if you start putting points in find item, first it goes 2%, uh, at once maybe even more. But there are a lot of dimin diminishing returns, I think. Um, at a certain point you have to put, I think, two points in there to get one uh, more point chance to or a body. They call it horking, I didn't know. But if you d use find item on a body, you hork the body. So, um, but the thing is, this goes down. So you have to put first one in, you get 2%, etc. But there is also a synergy you see in the bottom of this uh, overview. And it says you get 1% from a find item. So the thing I'm after at the moment, and I think you should all do, is maximize find, I find potion because this will give find item the best uh, value. Um, I'm only 81 at the moment, so there will be a lot, a couple of more points I can spend in there, but this is something you wanna take uh, care of. So, not so uh, strangely, you can also look this up on Maxwell. I will try to put a link in below, and otherwise it will uh, point you somehow there. Um, but let's uh, go to the next part and that is the um, the uh, set points I have 25 points uh, left here I still didn't really know what to do but uh, we'll see you have to put enough into strength I have seen some people put even more points into strength because it gives uh, physical damage and the point with uh, Berserker is that it, it changes the physical damage to magic damage so physical damage and strength is even good there here I decided not to do this yet because I think my damage is 
quite okay at the moment and I decided to use uh, to fill up dexterity first I was working with rhyme with the rhyme shield I will show you that as well and I think in some cases it's still nice to have but um, with the dexterity uh, I will get almost uh, as you can see here I am going for the 12,000 um, 12,000 uh, attack rating you, I thought you need to be between 12,000 and 13,000 attack rating that's a good uh, good place to be and that's why I put uh, points in dexterity because again you want to kill the enemies the, the elites as fast as possible so if you hit them they can and cannot hit you and then the rest of the points uh, in vitality of course and I also read that it's good to have your vitality if you have used your Not here. your shouts uh, then it has to be between 2500 and 3000 but I think it's better to have more than having less I think it's better to stay alive while you're playing than dying so this is uh, quite important let's go over uh, also you see my resistances they're not really high um, can be better I'm playing still playing around with uh, with gear options there are a lot of gear options it's really interesting at the moment it's not really that high as you can see but it's doable it's okay and over here when we look at the other stats that will also be uh, together with the gear um, we see that I at the moment have 537 magic magic finds I know that you probably are thinking at the moment, hey, but uh, there is like a magic number between 350 or around that is good enough. It's true, you have to put a lot of more magic find into uh, your character to uh, get a better, uh, more chance on the right items. But the whole thing about this build, and that's also a little bit the thing that I was a bit worried about making this guide, is that it's really important uh, that it's a min-max build. This build is the, the, the fastest way to go around, kill uh, elites and hork those bodies. And this way, it's really, and you do all do this on play one. I maybe didn't say that yet, but you all do this on play one. And the whole point is that you want to go for this balance point where you can go around fast, you can kill fast, and you can hork the bodies and you have a lot of magic fight. So you want, and you're not killing like the rest of the monsters, only the bodies, only the elites, I'm sorry. So that's why I've, I've got this amount. Uh, I can have even more, but uh, I don't have a gem rune at the moment. And yeah, I'm doubting still if I had a gem rune, what should I do? But I will go over that later. Then a couple of other important things are the attack speed. I have 65% uh, at the moment here, a bit too much maybe. Um, but um, I will go over that when we look at the gear and then I have if I swap weapons I have and that's also a really important breakpoint we want to go for 110 fast cast rate we want to go for the breakpoint of 105 fast cast rate okay so like, let's take a look at the gear because what have I here I use suicide branches um, the reason I use the suicide branches is not really in particular something but there's plus two skill and there's increased uh, maximum mana and I had a really big mana problem the other thing they uh, use is um, for example the wizard spikes they have a 75% all resist um, so these are you see more often I just have put these on and they work for me so it's uh, I have to try those others uh, too but you have a um, situation where you want to teleport around as fast as possible and to be as fast as possible we want to hit the breakpoint of 105% and I can achieve that by using this and I chose that I'm using at the moment a ring with faster cast rate I also have amulets and I'm still playing around but we want to have that breakpoint because at the moment I'm using High Lord's Rat and I've been reading a lot about this as well and they say it's literally the best amulet you can have um, there's a tech speed on it plus one to skills and the deadly strike and the deadly strike on this item together with the deadly strike on grief and the critical strike we already get from a blade mastery all adds up that we can probably kill the monster 
in one blow if we are lucky enough. We don't miss and the other things proc then we kill the monster in one blow. Um, you see I have grief here and another really important breakpoint we want to go for and there I've been searching the internet on this as well this is the attack speed. There are a lot of things that uh, uh, are involved when you calculate the attack speed because we've got really this nice tables on the breakpoints of faster cost rate or faster hit recovery but uh, the the faster uh, the, the attack speed calculation is a bit more difficult and i will not explain it at the moment but i found out that if you are using grief together with i don't have it on me at the moment but gold wrap that has 10 percent and your grief is at least uh, 32 you have 42 percent faster cost uh, of, of attack speed and this is enough to go to the nine frames so this is nice other thing that i found out that in the past it was uh, really bad to use uh, a offhand with a other or slower attack speed option uh, than, um, uh, than 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 your main hand but I understood that that's not the case anymore so I'm using the blade of Alibaba you will also see that in the guide the blade of uh, Alibaba is uh, I think really interesting because I've put two ists in there it's 60% with uh, at the moment 80% uh, this is this makes uh, 140 and uh, what we can do of course and I already have it but I'm not sure if I want to use it I've got a face blade and I've got six ist runes so I can use that as well but I'm not sure I want to do that yet because it's six ish runes and yeah, I have to be a bit more convinced that I'm going to play this character a lot. I'm already playing it quite much, but uh, a lot. Then there are a lot of a couple of options here. Uh, other thing with Enigma, yeah, it's quite yeah. I don't think if you don't have Enigma, it's a hard time. It's a really hard time. I still the build works. But uh, if you want to go really for the magic find uh, fast, then uh, yeah, then I think you should uh, should have it. If you don't have Enigma and if you don't have Grief, there are good options. And I've been playing around with, for example, Unbending Will. The highest rune you need here is a File Rune. Um, if you use this together with uh, uh, a good armor and maybe even a good shield, so you have a, a bit less magic find, but you're uh, more durable then you can do for example Trafinsel and you can work those bodies and, and those monsters over there have uh, uh, increased I thought increased of on jewelry and also on runes so this way you can work your enigma hopefully or your grief over there and then start you doing for example the pit another thing that I wasn't realizing when I started this is that the, the it's not only the pit uh, at the moment it's all the terror zones you, so this character and uh, <laughs> that made much more fun even because this character is also really well for all the other uh, for all the terror zones if you're high enough i'm 81 at the moment so that's not good enough but if i'm a bit higher then i gonna do all those terror zones as well and this gives a real yeah really nice diversity of playing again because i was a little bit afraid to have to do only the pit and also key farming with this character is really fast because you can do that on level one of course you can do it on players uh, three or five or whatever but you can also do it on player one and you can you are really fast and you can kill elites and if you want to and then uh, try to get those keys what else do I have and what else is really important uh, a really 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 most absolutely really important thing is that you do not have anything that has to do with freezing or frost or cold damage the reason for that is uh, you don't want to uh, uh, shatter the body uh, when you kill it because if you do that you cannot uh, use find item anymore on it you cannot hark the body they say so normally every build almost every build is using raven frost because it's a really good ring it has a tech rating it's a dexterity it has cannot be frozen whatever we all want to use that but not on this build on this build you don't want to use it you do i think you do want to have a source of cannot be frozen because being frozen is really annoying so at the moment i chose for the option of the tranquil skirt 
um, there are a couple of uh, there are a lot of other options to be honest uh, you see a lot of people put a gem rune in their uh, Shaco I don't have I had do I have got a couple of Shakos but I don't have a gem rune so I'm using immortal uh, King's will but um, I'm using at the moment and I think it's a really nice belt even uh, trying Ulf's Gurt. Then as you already saw I'm using a Nagel Ring 28% of magic find. There's also a tech rating on this and matching damage reduced so it's not really a bad ring and if you have a perfect one for 30% it's really nice. You see a lot of other people use gold wrap here. I already said that, so that's interesting. And you see that I using Immortal King Pillars together with Immortal King's Will. The reason I use those two is because I found a perfect Immortal King's Will, so that's it's 40% uh, magic find. Then I put two um, uh, runes in, uh, no, gems in there, so I'm on 88%. 2 to war cry is also nice for the magic for the item find and this one together with the boots will also give another 25% better chance on getting magic items this is really nice and uh, the boots also have life faster run walk and attack rating all things you really want and then the bonus is again 50% 50 to attack rating so this combination is really nice and I didn't find any war travelers so these are still on my grill list of items I want to fight, find, so that uh, if, if I have those, I think I might change it a bit around. But for now, this is really nice. So, grief, enigma, uh, chance cards. I've got perfect chance cards, so I want to use those. And then uh, normally you see people walking around with perfect nagel rings. I don't have. I have a lot of nagel rings, but I have uh, chosen to do it like this. Um, gold wrap normally but I uh, here train all skirt and you see uh, other people with maybe other amulets and not uh, using uh, high lord strat I'm still working this out I have a good amulet that I can use here as well with a lot of uh, magic find and also stuff like uh, resistances and things like that so there's a lot of things to balance and play with um, so then all these runes and I didn't order it that nicely because I've got on the left all my six and seven percent and I sometimes want to change those out so I ordered them on six and seven percent and these sometimes have additional like plus fire resist stuff like that I actually think it's good to have a decent amount of these but you will also see that I have uh, an Annie here a cheat fortune and on the right side I have the others and the others are like this one for example mana and uh, magic find and I've got some gold for this and low magic find here six percent six percent but I also have maximum damage attack rating life uh, charms like that all resist charm in there attack rating and life resistance and life a little bit of the other stuff because I thought it would be really nice to not die so I don't have the perfect setup and this is also nice so you can work towards that you know this is not perfect gear but it's also not really bad so actually I think um, I told you quite a lot about uh, many things uh, things I want to go over is uh, options that I'm using also is Arad's face I really like it so if you are like mm, I'm dying too much and I need to learn to play uh, first then you can use Arad's face for example and I have somewhere really good boots oh it's a mess I'm so sorry I where did I put my really good boots no whatever but I have uh, really nice boots with magic finds and, and resistances on there as well and if you start using this then you see here on here there are a lot of skills and life stolen and a bonus to attack rating really nice and strength and dex and all that kind of stuff but this is a really nice helmet as well I think for the job and you see a lot of uh, people use Shaco I chose to use this at the moment and I'm quite happy with it 
and then uh, you also see if you go for example doing to pencil you can also use this one Shul Skulder's Ire it has a lot a lot of magic find on it and magic damage reduced and, uh, plus one to skills also really nice you can use that and then if we take a look at the mercenary because we also have a mercenary I found out that it's uh, at the moment I chose to to give him Taurus's uh, uh, dead mask together with the chest piece because of the magic find and the resistance that are on there and all that kind of stuff together with an insight and this is far from perfect I have to work on this a bit more but he's not dying and that's one of the most important things and on the other hand I'm using insight uh, meditation aura uh, to be able to teleport around enough wow a lot of information I hope I didn't miss anything if I missed uh, something please help me out and leave it in the comments so other people uh, it's useful for other people and let's go to the next section where we take a look at the map uh, uh, for the bits um, and how you play with this character right <coughs> let's go and have do some gameplay so first of all I want to go for the pit and with the pit it's uh, as it's important with lower curas to get a good map with two campfires with the pit it also has a couple of things and we want to take a look at so first off, it needs to be close to the waypoint. Um, you will see, I will stay here because there are no monsters at the moment and we'll tell a little bit. Um, it needs to be close to the waypoint. So that's the first thing you want to look for. Then there are a couple of more things. The map needs to be preferably in a straight line. So you don't have to go to one direction then come back again. Secondly, there need to be enough elite packs or champion packs in that level also really important and how they measure that you can search it on the internet quite easily but they do like five to ten runs and then they take the average amount and if that's around a certain number then it's good then so if you have a if you have a entrance close to the in uh, to the waypoint and then if you have a, a sort of straight map then on the second level you need to have a thought between Two, three, and three, between two and four elite packs at least. Sometimes you only have two, and that's not enough. So you need to have, want to have three, around three to four. That's crazy. So you want to take a look at that as well. These are a lot of variables. And the way I try to find a map at the moment is first have the entrance closed because if it's really all the way down in the map, you don't want it. And then if the map is decent, it's okay. And then I look at the second level and if it's decent, it's okay. And if I'm not really happy with it, I re-roll. And you can <coughs> reset the map by changing difficulty, come back again, then the map is reset. So I will go there and then I will do a bit of gameplay. Still, I'm a beginner and I'm learning. So I will uh, try to do my best. I will try not to die. And I will try to explain a couple of things on the way. So here is the entrance, as you can see. You also see, it's important, the, the, the crazy fast uh, way of teleporting. That's the 105% breakpoint we uh, managed. So I'm on swap at the moment. So you see I've got these uh, nice suicide branches here. Uh, I can just teleport around. Then I use my howl. Um, howl away all the monsters and then I'm killing with my berserk my berserk skill so this is the whole thing and then I'm working the body and I have it all on keybinds so uh, just I just take it. so I will go around like this here I use howl and you see I change now and there are still too many monsters here come over so I kill it it's quite an easy at the moment and then I'm using uh, item find on the body and it's uh, it procked here so there are items over here this is the whole point then I switch back again to this uh, these uh, branches here 
and then I start teleporting around again. So I see another elite monster. You really need to learn to see those elite monsters here. I howl away everything. Change to my swords. Work the body. Picking up some potions, for example. And you see that if you you need to be concentrated, but it, it's a, it's okay to do it. So I, and then again, back. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Then again, back to uh, the branches again and start teleporting here. Ah, there it is. One scare away all the monsters. Going to the swords, and you see now somehow. I was still a bit frozen, killed them, and then worked in the bodies. And the whole point about this is, now this is way too slow, but I'm trying to explain a couple of things. Normally, and in the video, uh, oh, Max Roy, you can see he can talk and he can do this at the same time. I'm not really that person that can do that at the moment. Um, <clears throat> still need to learn to play this a bit more. Here again, scare them away, kill, work. Going back, move on, scare away, switch weapons, kill, oh, come over, kill, orc, switch back, and then you go to the next level, scare away, switch weapons, kill, orc, scare away, Kill or it's actually really repetitive, and that's also why I'm really happy with uh, yeah with the terror zones uh, to look uh, forward to because then you can do a lot of more different kind of content. So you see, all those mobs are still uh, still running away, still really scared of me. And this is what you really want to do, scare all those monsters away. So I will try to do it again, a bit more smoothly, so save out again. Start up. Go to the waypoint. Teleport. Go in there, teleport. Kill, kill, kill. Work those bodies. I see a lot of things. Oh, there are more. Oh, thank you, thanks for coming. You see, there are also a lot of potions um, on the. in the drops. That was a clean kill, you saw? That was just one hit and then he died. Really nice, really nice. I don't think this is a really good map. I, will, I think I will be rerun it, but I thought I saw. Say I I feel silence already again. Yeah. It can be hurt really much as well. Sometimes they just don't want to go away, and I'm not sure why. But maybe it has to do a little bit with my level. And I'm working everything. And there are people. They switch back to the other to the other uh, uh, to the weapon swap. Because they have magic find there and you can work faster and stuff like that and you can all see it in the guide that's it's really good. I thought there was one more. Oops. So and then save again, exit and do it again, do it again, do it again. So this is the whole point being good in your gameplay, have good amount of kill speed, fast teleportation, and then have the most magic finds you can have by not damaging those others. So if you put them all in a line and multiply them, that's your success factor. Okay, second thing I will I will do now is um, 
I will go and try to show you that you can also do draft pencil with it. You don't really need the the swap on the offense, so you can do a couple of things that maybe are, are better, but just to show a little bit. Oh, they're in here. So I shut. I scared them away too. And in it, this is also the place you all know you can you can find a lot of um, a lot of the gold as well. So if you don't have, uh, for example, if you don't have uh, Tale of uh, Enigma yet, you can also do this uh, a couple of times and then you have enough money for example to to repair uh, your uh, teleportation stuff or or a you want to do that your teleportation stuff you you'll see i will already have too much money so let's see something dropped here not really then i'm going to hoard those bodies and i already had uh, myself uh, a rune here this is also really known for finding runes and it will be really nice if I, if I find one at the moment you will probably say hey there are better builds for this uh doing it with whirlwind and stuff like that probably is but i just wanted to show you that you are able to do it and this is really nice i think you can do it and you can have a bit of uh something else and you can also uh, try to uh, farm uh, runes for example all right so you can do almost every 85 le 85 level with it um, and um, yeah I really encourage you to, to try it out start playing and again don't forget I try I've tried to tell you I will put it on pause for a moment I've tried to tell you a lot but Go and watch this really nice uh, build um, where he explains everything to you and you all have all the the gear options as well. There are a lot of gear options. Watch this video. It's three hours, but it's worth it to, uh, to watch it. And um, the thing I wanted to show to you guys and also make you enthusiastic about is that I don't have the best gear. I'm not the highest player at the moment. I'm not the skilled player, most skilled player at the moment. And I don't have this godly, perfect, uh, small charms and everything. But I can still say it's fun to play and it works out really, really well. So hopefully you will be uh, trying this out as well. Hopefully you uh, uh, are also like me playing offline and trying to find all these items in the game. I'm using no add-ons um, and I'm trying not to use all other kind of stuff because I in my other videos some guy said why, why don't you use this uh, seat option stuff like that there are things I don't want to do I want to keep the, the game as mostly as it as intended so the only thing uh, I use is a, uh, a, a good mouse that can um, has programmable buttons so I can do uh, combinations of keys behind each other and uh, i'm also using magic uh <clears throat> sorry the holy grail here it is again oh i'm sorry i will show it to you guys again i use this one what this does is he reads your save files uh, so if there's a new item in your stash or in your inventory it reads it, it puts it in the save file and it reads it out so you uh, you will know all the items you have or don't have already okay thank you very much for watching this i hope that it was informative and uh see you next time